Um, so the countdown begins five more days until the Aaliyah movie airs on Lifetime. <laughs> R&B, it airs Sunday night at 8, and I know a lot of you all are going to be squinting and scrutinizing since you know that, you know, I'm one of the, one of the executive producers of the movie, and you're going to be quick to want to criticize me, because I know that you know that the family does not want this movie to be done, but it's getting done anyway. We didn't need the family's permission. Wendy Williams, you are a old-ass, disrespectful old man. You need to sit your ass down with that whack-ass movie, the... I'm not going to talk about the girl that played Ali because you know it ain't her fault. It's your fault, Wendy Williams, because you were so quick to jump up on this motherfucking movie. For what? Why would you jump on this movie? Because why? Because you wanted to expose R. Kelly and Ali. Ali didn't, know, didn't want nobody knowing about that R. Kelly shit. If she wanted us to know about it, she would have let us know. You're disrespectful, old man. You need to sit your ass down somewhere and go to church and get some fucking help because you clearly is playing with the dead. And karma's a bitch, like for real. You are fucking wrong. Like, you, ugh, you just, Wendy, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're fucking 51 or 50 years old. You're an old man. And you know what? That's what niggas do, is do messy shit like this. You're a messy little bitch. And I hope that karma do come and get your ass. Trust and believe me.